Hey guys, Leno here. What's up? How are you? Hey, let me see how many people live. How are you today? Good to be here. Today we are going to talk about text presets plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 with a new update 2.0 with a lot of different new abilities to be so you can be more creative create cool effects using so many different um, new tools that we added to this um, update. Very nice. I'm sure you are going to love it. The 1.0 version, the first one, it was a big success. People loved it. But now this plugin is going to the next level. You are going to see that it's just amazing what you can do with this plugin. So. Uh, let's start with the right foot, hit the like button, and if you are not subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel so you can learn more about Final Cut Pro 10, Motion 5, and our plugins as well, all right? It's, let me, so welcome, and let me know in the chat box where are you from, your name. I'm Leno from LenFX, I'm here in Brazil, sunny day, beautiful day and great to be here i'm so excited to show all the new features of this plugin i'm sure you are going to love it all right thanks everyone for being here appreciate your your time so i hope that you can go to the next level learn a little bit more today so you can get better because it's very important that we get better each day one step at a time and in one, two years, we are a new, uh, more powerful and more valuable professional. That's how we grow. That's how we change our lives and our, our results for the better, right? Let me see New York. Ash, uh, I don't know how to pronounce, sorry about that. But from New York, from Russia, it's so good to see so many people from so many countries. This is awesome. Canada, from Quebec, Canada. Nice. Jackies. Yeah, I, I, I think you already participate on other live training. Thanks for being here. Everyone, if you are from, uh, this is not your first live. Thanks for your support. This is awesome. And I hope to see you many, many times. Cadu Polito de Indaiatuba, São Paulo, Brazil, Brazil. Yeah, Carol. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Ontario, Canada from Somalia, Bill, Ontario, Canada, Maya Productions. <laughs> He's asking if I'm Brazilian, if I'm a Brazilian guy. Yes, I'm Brazilian. Yeah, my amigo. So do Brazil. He's a Brazilian in Florida, Orlando, Florida as well. Kevin, nice guys. Thank you so much for being here. And 34 people online. This is just awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And before we start, eat Italy, Italy, India. The food traveler. Thanks for being here, man. Next, the the, the last time you were here. This is awesome. King Lion, Italy, per Pearly from Italy as well, Danilo, Danilo, hey Lars, hey, hey, hey man, <laughs> nice, that's so cool, um, you guys are awesome, awesome, oh, so many people from Toronto, Canada, Terry, Terry, thanks for being here, man, so, first of all, before we begin, I have a surprise for you because if you are here in the live training and until day June 8, June 8, you can buy this plugin for only $49. And if you already have it, please leave in the check box. I have it. And if you love it, you put, I love it <laughs> because uh, this plugin was a big success and we are very proud of it and we are going to keep getting better and better, make it 
this plugin better and better and you are going to receive free updates so this plugin the price in the future will go up a little bit but the value will go up as well but if you bought before you are not going to pay anything because you are helping me make the plugin better with your feedback with our reviews yeah this is nice leave a review in the site if you already bought the plugin liked it why you liked it it helps you it helped you how it helped you and because this is very important for other people to see the value of the plugin and it helps a lot okay yeah kevin already have the 1.0 version nice thanks brother this is great and and i have it and loved it love it nice john thanks man thanks for being here i i already know you it's so nice because uh, i'm getting to know so many people and the faces the faces are getting familiar this is very good is it 69 or 49 for only a few days it will be until june 8 it will be 49 but the regular price is 69 because the plugins get is getting better and better uh every time we do a, an update and we want we will add more elements more titles anything that i think that it's missing in this plugin i'll be adding in the future all right and i i count on you to give me feedback to to send me bugs that that you find it in the plugin so we can make it even better uh from one update to the next all right 20 off yeah i think it's more than 20 percent off it's 20 dollars off 20 dollars from from 49 to 16 oh sorry from 69 to 49 okay it is more than than 20 percent i think Okay, so first of all, let me play the, the trailer and then we are going to talk about, let me see here, my list of bullet points. I'm going to show an overview of the plugin, how you can use it, uh, give you several tips on how to use it. The mask mode, new mask mode, I don't remember, sorry, I don't remember the name of the person that gave me this idea. He said, look, if I would be able to do this, put the video or image inside the text, this would be awesome. So I, I said to him, yeah, you can count on me. I'll do that. I'll do an update. Animated shapes and outlines. This is just incredible. You can create lower thirds, titles, anything with uh, effects as in a form of shapes and outlines. So I'll show how you can create your own lower third and titles very easily combine the combining shapes with outline with text with effects you are going to like this feature effects we added more effects in the in this new update we added backgrounds animated backgrounds so you are going to be able to add text then background text background and then you are going to be able to create complex animation motion graphics animations very easily very easily combining shapes outlines effects background animated backgrounds and the mask mode and a lot more uh, this plugin is just awesome it's just the best text plugin for final cut pro 10 and we have also we are going to talk about adjustment layers guides and give you some creative ideas th throughout the training because uh i'll not wait to the end to give you creative ideas uh, as i as soon as i see say to you how you can use in creative ways or what's the possibility of using this plugin okay that are so many endless combinations let's take a look at the trailer then we are going to start the overview and go step by step by the end of this training if you have the plugin you are going to create uh, in a different level the this you are going to use this plugin in a different level i'm sure about that all right i just purchased it thank you brother that's awesome thank you <laughs> 
Now let's learn how to use it. Take the most out of it because you are paying $50 and I hope you, you gain a thousand, two thousand dollars with this plugin. That's my goal. All right. I, I want to create products that you feel that is very cheap because you can create so much value uh, from it that you gain money, uh, gain a lot of money and the plugin is just cheap because you can make more money, you know? That's my whole goal. So let me play the trailer and look, my beautiful, now my beautiful uh, mouse pad, big mouse pad, the globe. So I can see here where are Toronto, Canada, and this is just great, all right? And I'm too excited to the stream deck. Let's play here the trailer. Boom. have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, what? <laughs> this is great. I'm too excited. Thanks and uh, Astro, uh, sorry, I will not try to pronounce. Thanks a lot. You are creating value and sharing, sharing value, creating and sharing. Awesome. What's up, Seth? Yeah, I, I know you. Thanks for being here, man. So let me show you before we start. Here's my, my screen. This is the page I posted on the comments. So you can go there and buy the plugin, use the, the, Keep in mind that you need to use the text text live live as a coupon code, all right? To receive a 20% discount. And here you can come and see all the different all the different elements. Look. And the good thing is that we added the, the number so you can let's say that oh I love this one and then you go to the plugin and find rotation number 3 character all right this is very good uh we created this it was a lot of work to do it but it's worth it so you can find very easily the element that you want or you can go to this page only to see the the effects let me see oh look i i like this one so let me go to the plugin and then you find very easily very fast all right by the way this was another idea from our customers so you guys are just awesome. You guys give me so many, so many um, tips on how to make, to make, to grow, to make us better, Lena effects even better. All right. You are part of it. All right. So now let's stop talking and let's get into action. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's go here. I have let me show just a preview what you can oh, look what we can create look this is just beautiful with the new outline effect and the shape the mask that we created just using this plugin okay just using this plugin look the continuous new new category look boom boom 
again and then you put one title after the other and then you create this amazing scene powerful fast look fast easy powerful boom again continuous boom continuous boom and then you can put one more one more very nice okay and i'll show how you can create that in just a few minutes let's see more look this is the the effect the text with drop shadow combined with some with with the background and <laughs> oh daniel thanks for being here my friend again daniel is a great guy he's with us he watched all the anniversary sale live trainings thanks for being here man boom 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 <laughs> this is nice all i'm showing here is from my tutorials i created tutorials so i'll make an update and send you all the tutorials edited very to the point so you can work and learn fast and so you can review if you need to um, the videos okay but if you need you can go to this uh, live training i'll i'll make it available so you can see again if you want but this is part of the tutorials you are going to get very soon all right so uh, my water coffee and let me take this out because it's hurting my my first 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 feast yeah so oh uh, look this is another effect that, look, I combined some different effects to create this. It's the same thing, the same thing, uh, look, the continuous. But then I combine with other effects. Look. You can make glow, you can make them move, you can make them move down, up. Water, effect. Look, this was done just with the text presets plugin, nothing more. Look, the replicator, you are going to love this effect. Look what you can do. You just create one text and then with the replicator, you can create several copies inside Final Cut easily, very fast. Okay, so let's get started. Let me open any project here, add any media because just a moment add any video to the timeline okay now let me double click here so i can see all the space of the inspector go to the titles tab after you install the plugin Keep in mind that it's good to always close Final Cut before you install a plugin. And then after you install it, just go to the Titles tab, Titles browser here, and look for Text Presets. Text Presets, Leno FX Text Presets. Let me close the timeline, Control Command 2, Con Command, Command 4, and let me show all the elements. This is the adjustment layer. I'll show you how to use it. This is the guides. Here we have backgrounds, black and white, duotone, gradient. So you can um, create different gradient backgrounds. Animated troll, animated wave. Look, center opening. This is just animated background. So you can create different combinations, put one after the other combining with text very nice this is you can create so many things with these backgrounds here's the basic category we added some new new text to some of the categories we created the new continuous animation category they are they are organized by the category basic and then character this means that the animation was done uh, using character as, uh, as the effect. And then we have the line. The animation was done uh, by line. 
not character. And the other one is word. We used words. One word has the effect, then the other, then the other one. Okay? So that's the three types of animation that we are going to find here. Character. The characters is changing. The line is changing. Or the word. Okay? Now, here we have blur. Look, blur, we have bounce, bounce, more animated, more energetic, more funny. This is the new category. They don't have built-in, built-out animation. They just have animation because they move. Look, you move, put one text, and then when the other one is mo moving out, you put another one. That's the purpose of this category. You have continuous animation, one title after the other one. Fast, even though it says fast, you can change the animation speed. Keep in mind that not all the titles you have the ability to change the speed of the animation. Most of them you have, but some of them you don't. This is because limitations. Maybe we created a glitch effect and then we can't add a speed animation with the glitch effect because it's done manually we can't do that okay keep in mind that not all of them will have the speed animation control but you can create a compound clip and change the speed of the animation at the beginning i can show you how in a few minutes here you have the glitch glitch look very nice glitch effects impact they are more impactful, more boom, boom, <laughs> you know? It's good to add a sound effect to make the impact more powerful. Miscellaneous, where you find all kinds of animation. This is very nice, a, a, a interesting category. So you can take a look and find so many different um, variations. Rotation, everything rotating, the characters rotating the line rotating, the words rotating. Slow, they are slower than the other ones. Tracking, uses the tracking as the main effect, okay? So that's all the titles, more than 28, uh, 280, 80, yes. And more than 330 elements, because this is not all you get you get also effects very nice let me show you you can go here to con control command 2 command 5 and i'm going to always try to repeat repeat the keyboard shortcuts so you can use them to open and close your win your windows because you can work a lot faster all right What's the discount code? I'm sorry, a text live. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, brother, for putting text live. Yeah. So here you go to the effects tab right here or press command five. And then you go to Leno FX text presets. And here you are going to find animated outlines. They are just outlines circle diamond diamond i think rectangle square they work the same way but they have different shapes like animated shapes you have all of these shapes but they work um very similar okay look circle circle two the difference is the animation this one animates in a different way than this one and so on, okay? Square, and then we have effects. Effects is very nice because we have the motion blur effect for different effects. One is more intense than the other one. You can use them, they can take us some time to, to render, but sometimes it's worth it worth the wait because waiting the render because the the effect becomes more interesting 
but not all the time it's good to use. We have Drop Shadow, Extrude, Flicker, Glow, Move, Prism, Replicator, Shake, Text Mask, that's very cool, this is nice, I'll, I'll show you, you're going to like it, I'm sure. Underwater and Zoom, this is very powerful, the Text Mask, because you are going to be able to create the most common effects that you can see in almost all the the motion graphics animations where you have a mask and then the text comes in uh, can be words or lines or characters but they have a mask and you can do that very easily with the text mask very cool the replicator great to use this one as well okay so that's what you get with this plugin you get the titles backgrounds the tools a lot of different animation text animation animated outlines shapes and effects now let's see how you can start working with them let me see if you have any question what's the discount you already see can i move the shape yeah, you can move the shape, uh-huh, you can move it, you can move the text, the shape. I'm going to show in detail how you can do that. First of all, the basics. Let's, let's start with the basics because I, I'm sure that most of you know how to use Final Cut, how to customize text, but I'll, I'll take two minutes to show the basics because if you don't know, if you are starting in Final Cut, you are going to be able to to get ahead very fast, all right? And if you like this training so far, hit the like button and let's, let's continue. So here, let's see, let me take the basic because I, I, I like basic things. So let's see uh, this one. Let me take this one and then you can click and drag or you can click and press Q to the timeline, or you can press X on top of the clip to make the, the range selection as the same duration, select and press Q to make the text as the same duration as the, the clip, okay? So let's play, look, very simple, very elegant, nice. Now, Select the text and go to the inspector. You can click here or press Command 4. Command 4. You can double click here to expand the inspector. If you select the, the title here, you can go to the text tab and here you can make some changes. You can, this is all the parameters available so you can customize the text. Here, in almost all of the titles, you have the built-in and built-out animation. So you can enable or disable the animation. Okay. So let's say that I don't want the in animation. I can disable it. No problem. The mask mode, we are going to talk about it in a minute. But basically what it does is click here and you, you see the clip below inside the text. So this is very nice if you do this look nice and then you make the text bigger and then you can look put the video the uh, images anything that is below the title inside the, the text okay click here to disable but i'll show you in detail about this feature here you have the transform controls to make the text bigger or move it okay or you can go to the viewer here you can click and move make it bigger or smaller it's better for you to first change the size if you want to make the text smaller change the size like for example put here a hundred like that and then here you can change the font and so on okay roboto okay so basically you have the animation in and out, the mask mode, the transform options, the, the text options, and here you have the animation controls where you can change some parameters and these parameters will change 
from text to text, everything is different because the animation is different, the uh, how you customize it is different, okay? And in some of them, you'll not find the in duration where you can change the speed. For example, here, the speed of the animation is 30 frames. The out animation is 30 frames as well. Let's play, for example, so you can understand. And then you can make it faster by making the number smaller, 13 frames. Look, very fast. Or you can make it even, even slower. But here the animation is based on line. So if I have two lines, line, line, line. Look, I have a problem. Very easy to to um, adjust. Just line spacing. Make it more space between the the lines. Let's play. Okay, or you can make it faster, or you can spread if you have more than other lines. And then, for example, let's see. This spread means how many lines can I animate at the same time? 12, one, look, if it's one, it will animate one, then the other one, then the other one, then the other one, okay? Or 50, almost all of them will enter at the same time. 15, maybe. And then you experiment with these parameters so you can find what you are looking for. It will depend on any of uh, um, it will depend on the the title in position you can change to down or up up okay and during uh, backwards forward you can change this and the same parameters that you have to the in animation you have to the out okay not to all of them, but most of them you have. Okay. So another thing, let's say that you want to change the color of one text or the size or the font. It's very simple to do. You can double click here or just click once and then you are going to go to the text tab. Here you can double click and select the text go to the face to change color like that or go to the font to change font or just the weight of the font okay let's say that this one i want light and then to accept click outside and press x ask ask like that all right you can change the size or you can just select here and change the size look and change the tracking. Here is where you find all the parameters for the text. In the titles tab, you find just the most important ones. By the way, if you see this, you don't see the number. This means that this text has different sizes. The tracking, look, the number doesn't appear. This means that it has more than one tracking number. To make them the same, just double click and put zero, for example, or 10 or 20, you know, you just experiment. Okay. So that's the basic um, of this text on how to customize the text. Okay. Let me put another one. Let's see the, let me see the fast, fast play. Let me play. Very fast. But then you can select it, go to in duration and make it, uh, let's say 20. Let's play. Look, and then let me render by pressing command S. Look, nice, beautiful. And then we have the, uh, the 
in random seed. You can click here to change the seed. Look, the A, it was the last one. You can click again. It changed. Look. Okay. Forward. You can experiment with the elements. All right. Or backwards. It start from the end. Let me say, let me see. Fast and furious. Look, start, start from the end. And you can start forward or backwards. Okay. And you can change the out animation here. The in, you can see here, the out, you can control here. You can invert, look, invert, and etc. It has a lot of options. Each text has different, different effects. Here's the glitch. Let me render because some of them is more, demands more power. Of your machine this one you can disable the, the the prism the distortion look you can make it simpler okay okay so that's the overview about the text okay but now we can start to combine the other elements do you guys have any question? Let me see here. Hey, thanks for being here. Uh, you were in the last live training. Great plugin, Lando. My first question is how do you do the effect at 11 seconds with the white background and book now? Okay. I'll ha I, I have to take a look at the t trailer so I understand what's, what's the effect. Let me see just a moment. Eleven seconds. Let me show you the book. Yeah, this one. Yes. <laughs> very simple, very simple. Let me show. I I'll not try to use the same, the same, um, uh, uh, what I mean is the same effect because I, I don't know what which one is but let me show very simple to do this effect so let me put a timestamp now we are going to see how you can create the book effect that you see on the trailer of this plugin all right so let me use this image here this image okay and then what I can do is let me take one animation, not this one. This one is good, but let me see. Not continuous, not. Let me see the effect again. Yeah, it slides. Uh huh. And then it cuts straight away for this scene. You are going to see that it is very simple. Great question, by the way. Thanks. Great question. Let me see. Let me find one text that moves, not the blur. The blur, no, no, no. Let's use this one, okay? So we don't waste time, okay? And then let me put book now, book now, book now, and I want to make it faster, so I need to make the number smaller. All right, I love it, great. So uh, I'll make bigger like that because the next scene I want even bigger pam 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 and then pam pam and then here I want a cut so what I will do is I'll disable 
Let me duplicate this. Disable this one. In this one, I need, I, I'll disable the out animation in cut here. Option, right bracket, or just click and drag. Okay. And then it will cut to this one. V to accept, and then option, right bracket. In this one, I don't need the in animation. And I want it bigger, 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 like that. And I want the mask mode on. And I want a white background, okay? So I need to go to the background here and take any one of these backgrounds. Let me see. I can use, I think I can use the black and white. Let me see. I'll disable all of this because I need a white background. White, all white. It's not all white. Yeah, opacity 100%. I don't want animation at the end or in the beginning or at the end. Okay, now the important part. I need to cut here the video. And if I enable the background, you can see that the white background doesn't appear because the text is masking the video below and this element. The solution is very simple. Just select create a new compound clip by pressing right click, new compound clip, and then you can say book now, enter. Now we can see the white background because the mask is just affecting the video inside the compound clip. Look. And then here I can cut. I could come here and cut and select this one and cut as well to go to the next scene. Let me change scenes. Dun, 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 dun. I, I can go faster. Let me select both. Option, let me see the timing. Vum, pan, pan. And here I can cut. Option, right bracket. <laughs> Anthony says, compound clips do the job again, again and again and again and again. Uh, compound clips is always a good idea and is always, it's almost always the solution to many, many problems. I see when someone says, oh, I have a problem in Final Cut. And I, and I say, L -l let me see. Let's try a compound clip. And a lot of times it's the solution. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, uh, Vox Real. Thanks. <laughs> And so that's how simple you can do. Look, how, very simple. You, you just duplicate the text, create a new scene, use the background, combine with the, the mask mode, create a compound clip, done. Beautiful effect with no, no time, no, no, uh, very simple. You don't need to go to motion or anything like that. Okay, let me see. And if you have any question, please let me know about the effect. I can do again or I can make a tutorial and put in the plugin, all right, in the DMG file that I send to you. Let me see another one. If I purchase text presets inside the anniversary bundle a while back, is that the same? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, we are going to, if not, not did, if we didn't update yet, yes, you have the right to have the version 2.0, no matter how you purchase it. If it's in a package or promotion, no, no, no problem. All right. Um, let me see again. Yeah, I think the most valuable thing I've learned from Leno is so far is how compound clips really work to your advantage. Yeah, Seth, that's awesome. Aha, perfect. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Love that tip, 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 just being, yeah, great. That's awesome. Okay. 
Whoa, what's the specs of your computer? It seems fast, nice work. The J. Brian, the J. Brian, let me show you. Oh, sorry, I did put his uh, the J. Brian, thank you. And just being love the tip. Let me show my specs, okay? It's a great machine here, or look. It's an iMac 5K, 27. 27 inches 2017 3.8 quad core intel if i5 40 gigas of ram and 8 gigas of video graphics card Ran i don't know how to pronounce this name radeon radeon i don't know pro 588 gigas of ram great machine i'm i'm loving it i just but bought it for the live trainings because the other machine was not working so well that's why i i stopped doing the live trainings because i was uh, putting the setup together buying the camera the batteries the stream deck all the things to make it beautiful and nice because i'm 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 a perfectionist and i like things very well done as best as i can but we can't stop doing things just because it's not perfect. I, I see that I can make these live trainings even better. I can prepare more, but I didn't have the time to prepare this live. But as you can see, it's going so well. Your guys are liking the tips and what I'm teaching you. So this is a business uh, tip. Whatever you want to do, just do it. Start, start now, don't wait because things are going to get better and better because you need to start from some somewhere okay uh, when i started Leno fx i just had a macbook pro uh, small 2011 very slow one guy um, robbed my house then i i had to buy another mac and here in brazil is very expensive mac Mac, Mac computers is extremely, uh, um, how can I say, a lot of money. Uh, ah, you, you know what I mean, you know. So, and then I started to buy one machine, one better, one better than the other one. And here we are with this awesome camera, with this awesome computer. So... The dreams can come true, my friend. <laughs> yeah, and the, by the way, you are here with me. Thank you so much for being here. You are part of this dream and thank you for all your support, all your help. You guys rock. I'm so blessed to have, uh, to be on this business, working with so many wonderful people, wonderful clients, partners. Sorry for the... <laughs> uh to not focusing on only on the plugin okay what's the best just purchase it audio girl productions thank you for purchasing it about the key commands what i'm thinking about is doing a live live training so i can give you my keyboard shortcuts teach you my keyboard shortcuts and how to work faster in final cut using keyboard shortcuts I'll show how you can use just the, the, the keyboard. So this is going to be one of the next live trains, okay? okay? You can count on me about Final Cut and Motion 5. Both of the programs, I'll give you my keyboard shortcuts, show how, can I, how I use them to work even faster, faster, because I, I, I'm always about working fast. If you like this training, give a thumbs up if you're liking it and consider subscribing to the channel this is so awesome <laughs> yeah, it's nice and let's keep it going i'll talk about now let me see my topics i'll talk about the mask mode i already talked but let me show you some other things about this okay let me show my screen and drink a water Oh, very nice, very nice. Seth, get another OBS cam for your hands. 
so we can watch our keyboard. Yeah, this, this is an amazing idea. I can put a camera here and show you my hands and then you can put uh, on the side of this, how can I see? On, on the side of the screen, my hands moving. Uh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Thanks for the tip. Thanks, Leno, you are a star and thanks for understanding always. <laughs> You're welcome, my friend. Uh, <laughs> nice, this is nice. So let's go a little bit deep about deep deep about mask mode. I talked about in this effect, but let's see more about it. So let me explain. You just put a title here and then you cut, create a compound, create a background, white background and use the mask mode to put the video or image inside the text. That's basically how this works. Let's see another one, this one. No matter the plugin, no matter the title, let me make all of this Control D in just five seconds. Yeah, like that. And then I can put like text presets 2.0 and then make bigger. Look, if this happens, this is nice. I, I'm glad this happened. Because let's see that you want a little bit bigger, but not like that. Just go here, double click and expand a little bit like that. Press X, ask, sorry, no, not X, ask, X, and then make it bigger a little bit. If it's not sufficient, you can change the zoom and make it even bigger like that if you want ask and then make it bigger okay because maybe you can you you want to make something move or i don't know it's just good to know because you, you could create a cut like this L look you could create a let's see you could put very big like that and then move here yeah like this and then just disable the animations and then you could cut select the other one and move the text like that text presets cut again and move this one like that okay let's see let's make all of this 10 frames only 10 zoom in put one after the other one and make the last one bigger longer pam, pam, pam. and then you put on the beat the beat of the music and then you create a interesting effect something like this so let me come back here make it longer and then I can go to the titles tab and mask mode, enable it, enable the, the in and out animation. And always, always you need to, let me move it, put zero here, zero here, not zero, it can be here. And change the size of the font like that, I like it. Let's see done once you you apply the mask mode you need to put the text in a compound clip so escape key yes escape key so you can cut here and let's say that i want four seconds select right click change duration four zero zero enter no three seconds three zero zero okay no, three and a little bit. And then I can press B, cut, A, select, option G, and then OK. Look. And then I can put another video below, option, click and drag to copy. But this one is not so good because it's a lot of colors. Let me take this one and see if it works, works better. Yeah, a lot better. Okay. 
look let me put here fit okay make this smaller and make some room command tilde key to close this tab okay and then you can do that and i like to add a drop shadow select the clip here option right bracket then i can go to the fx tab and use the drop shadow put on the compound clip and then you can come here to the videos tab as an effect and then you can change the parameters like that distance you could change the color but yeah I like black as is not so hard like that okay yes I like it and if you want to use more text just put them inside the the compound clip the but it's basically this is the basics on how to use the mask mode effect very simple but it's a very nice effect uh, you can see in great videos great productions this kind of effect okay so now let's talk about animated shapes this is cool your uh, it's very interesting <laughs> uh, how we came up with this because I, I saw that this is one of the most common effects that I see in motion graphics pieces but in Final Cut you can't do that easily now you can let me show you how so I can add a time step now we are going to talk about animated shapes in Final Cut Pro 10 so you can create titles lower thirds very amazing effects just let's see how you can do that okay first of all I'll, uh, I'll add a background let me show one I want mm, let me see I want this one I can click and drag zoom put here let me play yes I like it but I, I want just one color so I can come here change to color and fill color change to another color let's say this one I like it now let's take one text that we like it I'll, I'll, I'll take something that moves not animation static animation like that I want something that moves this one is good but I want something that moves up or down let me see not this one yeah this one is good but not the best one the basic let me see the bounce no 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 fast yeah this one is good look let me customize the text and say text presets 2.0 make it smaller like that I could change the text and everything I want make the tracking a little bit bigger like that and then let me make the animation uh, slower slower like that I like it I want more text animating at the same time so I'll increase the spread less I like it invert direction you can click yeah I like this one like this I, I like it all right now let's see how you can use the the animated shapes come here and you can see the shape animating this one is just a scale this one moves let me find the one that I like it is the rectangle 2 I love this one so you can click and drag to the text command Z 
or you can just select the title and double click because you can add in several of the titles. So as you can see, the mask mask all of the clips below. Again, you need to create a compound clip. Okay, so let me see where I want to begin. It does that, all right. Here is good. I'll create a compound clip, right click or press option G, title, enter. Okay, now it just masks the text. Okay, command Z to go back to, to undo because I can work like that and then later I can create a compound clip. Okay, let's do that. Let's put the playhead here, go to the videos tab to customize the effect, the animated shapes, you need to go to the videos tab. Here is just as the other effects, you can enable or disable the in and out animation. Look, right, um, let me see here. Let me put in a compound clip, option G, enter. Sorry guys, I did something wrong. I did something wrong. <laughs> Look, you need to create a compound clip and then you put the effect on the compound clip, not in the title, okay? Let's do. <laughs> Option G, and then you can click and drag. Now it's good, okay? Sorry about that, about this little detail but important one. You need to put the effect on a compound clip. All of these effects you need to put on a compound clip, not in the title. Okay, now I want just one color, color, and then let's say I want to change to this one. Mm, let me see, no, I, I want white. And then the text, I want the same color as the background. Click, click, let's see if we like it, you can click here or press command left bracket to go back. Look, yes, okay. Now let's customize the size of the shape. You can come here to width and click and drag, but the limit is a thousand. You can click here and go up. Yeah, I like this. I want to make it the height less tall uh, like that. Yeah, I like it. What I want now, let me see. I could disable the animation. The end animation as well. But I'll leave it on. The both animation. You can, let me change the color of the text so you can see what I'm going to do now. Because if I don't, you can't see it. Let me change to orange. Command left bracket. Great, it's beautiful. The mask mode on. With the mask mode on, the text only appears where you see shape. Look, the text doesn't appear here. But if you disable the mask mode, you can see the text all over the place with no mask, okay? And then you use just the, the shape without the mask. But this effect, I like to use the mask mode. But sometimes it's great to not use it as well. It depends on the situation. Now, fade in and out. You can have a fade in or in out or just in or just out or off. This is referring to the fade on the shape. Okay, the shape. I don't want, I just want the animation. Look, I like it better like that. Or you can, let me see here. No, you don't, yeah. This is great. Animation in, and then you can see. Animation in from where? What's the, the point of reference? Center X or center Y or left to right, 
or the opposite or up to down down to up look how many combinations can you create with that I like the X so I'll leave it the default the alt animation you can change okay the default one is the Y it's great I like it as well but I like to make it things simple so let's use X as well okay good now we change the width the height now you can add a little bit of roundness it's very nice sometimes depending on the project it's better to have it rounded the shape rounded instead of hard lines here you can change the position of the shape here you can change the position of both or you can change the position of both with this on-screen control you can also change the color to color just color the shape or you can change to gradient and then you can come here click on the triangle and put whatever color you want like that beautiful color if I put the text white it's going to be beautiful command left bracket look beautiful I like it now if the background is white is it's beautiful as well Wow I love it love it just beautiful and let's keep it exploring the this so gradient is very simple just experiment with these is the same way of any gradient tool in Final Cut in motion and so on here you can change the opacity of the shape okay and let's go ahead and add a drop shadow here click and drag and then we can go to the drop shadow change the blur the distance and the opacity you can change the the angle like that make it subtle beautiful amazing if you want to add drop shadow to the text please don't let me show something don't use drop shadow to the text because you are going to have a problem um, later we can talk about that I sh I'll show you I show you in the tutorial why you don't you can't use shape in the text or drop shadow in the text basically is because the drop shadow becomes a mask when you apply the, the mask mode okay let me put some clip here so you can see better look and then if I have a drop shadow big drop shadow oh no um, the drop shadow like I said before you can't add these effects on the text you need to add to the drop zone okay but the problem is it will use the drop shadow as a mask you can't put on um, you can't do that okay you need to put the drop shadow always always on the compound clip all right so if I need if I want to add a drop shadow here I could add a like that one compound clip and then add the drop shadow here okay let's go back command Z command right bracket yes I like it so that's how you can use the the animated shapes in text combined with the the background very simple to use okay and the other ones is the same thing the only difference is the shape so let me show you an example I'll duplicate this option click and drag and then here I need to create a new reference compound clip select go to clip 
new reference, new parent clip to create a new compound. Because if I change this one, this one will change as well. But as I created a new reference, this one is independent of the other one. Okay, now let's use another, um, let's see, another shape. Square, not square. Let me use, yeah, maybe circle, circle. But now I can change, let me see, let me put one color here. And then I need to change the text because it, it's big. Let me change to only text 2.0. Oh, I press delete. Now the, oh, okay. Go back. Great. Look, I have a drop shadow. Let me see. The drop shadow is before the shape. That's why it's on the text. Let me put below because it's here. If it's here, it's on the text. Look. But it, if it's here, it's on the shape. Yeah, I like the, like this. Good, good. So you could create I add another drop shadow here if you want and then put above like that okay let's see the result yeah good if you want just well you can change the other colors here let's say white and orange let's see beautiful and then you can come here and change the radius, the curvature, and it becomes a square. But I want like that. Mask mode, everything, just the same thing as the other one, okay? Yeah, I, I like it. Did you guys like it? Yeah, just great. Okay, command Z. Let me see the other topic. And if you guys have any question, please let me know. Uh, Jax ask, ask is the escape key. Escape key, yes. I'll try to say escape key next time. <laughs> and <clears throat> Thank you so much for your content. I just pressed the simple text box plugin in and screen FX2 plugin. Both are great. Thanks again. You're welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for buying the plugins. And later, if you can, leave a review on the site to tell us what you think about it. What can we make it? How can we make it better? Okay. This is very good for us. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Yeah, good to know. That's nice. Samuel, how are you, man? Did I miss a lot of stuff? Just logged in. Uh, no. Yeah, my, but later you can watch again. That's great. Nice. Beautiful. Thanks. Great. Very nice demo. Thanks, Leno. You're welcome, Kevin. So let's, if you guys have any questions, leave in the chat box and I'll answer right away. Let me drink a, a bit of coffee here. Awesome. Samuel is doing great. That's awesome. I'm doing great as well, my friend. Couldn't be better. <laughs> I said to some people that I'm not seeing TV or news and anything. I, I know that the world has some problems, but with, if we focus on making good things, um uh the world can be better and it's just awesome when you you have good vibes good things going on on your life and you help people and it's just great to be here with you guys now thank you for your time thanks to being here all right obrigado bro you're welcome bro <laughs> so now and keep uh you can 
hit the like button if you like so far and consider subscribing to the channel because we are going to do lots lots of live training like that about motion final cut and leno fx plugins and if you don't have the text presets plugin yet you can buy for only 49 dollars until um june 8 okay 20 dollars off just use the coupon code text live all together text live here text text live until june 8 okay if you are coming after june 8 subscribe to leno fx and wait for some promotions because from time to time we do some new promotions but it's not very often all right but so that's it let's see now how you can use the animated outlines is the same concept as the animated shapes but the difference is that you have just the outline you don't you don't have a shape but maybe you you can combine them no problem but i'll show how you can use them separately and if you have any question if you are seeing this the the replay just leave in the in the comments and i'll try to record a tutorial or maybe in the 3.0 version i'll make another live training and give you all the tips all the techniques that i learned later all right let's make this plugin better and better every time we do an update howdy leno hey 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 <laughs> howdy uh, i don't know what means howdy but i think it's a good thing like hey what's up <laughs> yeah so let me close this and let's talk about <laughs> howdy let's talk about animated outlines animated outlines again let me just option click and drag to make a duplicate let me show you again because i i just changed camera option click and drag to have this background and i want to make it go comes from top to bottom let's see top to bottom yeah i like it great Let's take another text because we learned we learn a lot from using different effects. Let me see what what I'm going to use. No, not this one. Yeah, maybe this one. Maybe no, no. I want something that moves. Oh, this one is cool. Very cool. Yeah, this one is good. Because to use mask is good when you use a text that moves. So they can show that uh not show on the screen it moves and then it passes through the mask now let me change the color let me click here and select any one of these colors maybe this one or this one yeah this one is good now again you need to set um uh, configure adjust your text let me put here text presets 2.0 make it a little bit bigger tracking good let's change let's change the text the, the font no no future yeah this one good bold good smaller okay now let's create a compound clip before change the duration but you can change it later no problem select right uh, option g okay 
then go to the animated outlines animated shapes here animated outline I'm going to use the one that I like the most is the rectangle it's the most common one okay let's change the color because we can't see anything with this color let me put this one I like it close and then you can come here to again mask mode and fade in fade out I, I want it off I don't want the fade because the animation is kind of a right on and I like it um, scale click here on the triangle because if you change here look you are go just going to change it like this and I don't like it but you can do that like this and then you can come here and change the, the Y Y scale okay I like it you can add a bit of roundness if you want good I like it you can change again the same way it works the same way you can move the outline or you can move the outline with the text or you can just click here and move command Z you can change the opacity and width okay I like the way it was before 10 or you can put 5 good I, I like it 8 10 10 is fine let's preview good I like it but then you can come here to animation in and out and you can put for example center X good center Y center Y and what else upper left upper right and so on lower right okay this is very nice you can change I like the X or just the upper left good as well yeah I like this the way it is okay so that's how let me remove the roundness because now I don't like it let's say now I have an idea I never did before and guys th that's why I like live training live tutorials because I can I can stop worrying about my English my my English skills because I know I'm making a lot of mistakes but no problem and then I can focus on experimenting and and challenging myself live because I want to put on on your shoes to understand your situations because what I found is when I'm doing a live training I find ways to make the plugin better it's just incredible because I'm here using and I think wow it's missing a simple solid without any animation I I, I, I just missed a simple solid without any animation because as you see as you saw before I dragged one background disabled the in and out animation and disabled the the gradient I just want a solid so next update we are going to have a simple solid I'll just put here a uh, simple simple solid in the background category so that's how I can make the plugin better you know and you guys ask me some question and I think how can I do that how can I do that and then I can think about something about a solution so I'm just very very happy that I started to do these live trainings with you guys and you, are, you guys are just incredible okay let me see some of your comments <clears throat> you know my final cut my final cut version is 10.4.6 and I don't have motion can I still install the text presets 2.0 yes I believe you can let me just see the sales page first uh, the sales page let's go at the end look you can use if you have 10.4 you can use any other version okay so yeah you can use my friend you can buy the plugin and use it in your version 
10.4.6. Okay, no problem. Hello, Chris from South Africa. Hello, Chris. You are doing just fine. Your English is very good. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Good to know. But I, I want to make it better, even better. Because we, we always have room for improvement. You are doing very good. Thank you, my friend. Yes, thank you for doing the, these trainings. And just by watching your workflow, I'm learning so, so, so much more. Not only about your plugins, but about how you do things in Final Cut. Good to know. Because I think we can, I can share a lot more, you know. I just saw a video from a, a customer of ours. And I thought, wow, I could make a live training and talk about what she did wrong. What could she do better? How could she do better? Maybe I could take her project and make a live training and see in talk. Look, this is the purpose that he want, she wants, the object, the, the goal. And let's make her video um, more successful focused on the goal what he, she wants to achieve uh, maybe we can do that uh, it's going to be a pleasure to analyze project and learn how to make them better <clears throat> let's go a little bit faster because it's one hour and 26 minutes so far and i want to i don't want to make a live training very long so you can but with the timestamps is very fast so you can move around the 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 training okay what kind of switch are you using to these live training live demos good live demos it's the stream deck from elgato El elgato i think stream deck from elgato amazing tool i highly recommend it okay very very good so <clears throat> So let me continue. Let's. Uh, but if you uh, buy the bought the plugin, I'll send you all the tutorials about all I'm talking about in a very concise way, edited videos, so you can learn even faster. Okay. Just keep uh, an eye on your email, so we are going to email you, Jason Connor from. Kits, I don't know what ST is about. That's a great idea to give feedbacks on videos, right? Yeah, I like as well. Maybe imagine you send me a library with all your files, all everything, and then I can let's make this video even better. And then we can make sound effects, we can uh, color correct, edit, talk about editing, paste, uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, I, I believe this can be very, very in, uh, enriching experience for both of us because I learned a lot as well. So uh, I'll just keep a note here. Live analyzing or making projects better. Okay. So let's go to Final Cut. <clears throat> and that's how you can use the the outline but i have an idea let me show you <clears throat> go inside and i want to to duplicate the text command option oh sorry option click and drag text presets one and then the text goes out of the screen and then it enters another one amazing fcpx plugin or fcpx plugin yeah the let me see good i like it uh-huh so now i can go back click here or press command left bracket now we have more media in our compound clip Click and drag to extend. Look, so you can have more text inside your, I don't know, let me see, it's cutting 
Oh, it's because the time of the animation, the title is, is not sufficient. So what I can do is I can use this and then here I can disable the out animation and then make it uh, shorter. Command T to add a transition, a fade like that. A faster fade, not so slow. Click here and then enable the other one with V key. Yeah, like that. V key. Good. Love it. Command left bracket. Make it longer. Make the background longer and the media as well. Ah, the, 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 it didn't work with the transition, what I can do is control V, double click, click here and drag. It's the same thing, but I think it's going to work. Command left bracket. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> if I was doing a tutorial, I wouldn't show you the error. I would show you just the, the right way of doing things, but I think it's, uh, I believe that is very um, important to show the errors as well because I can show you the solution and what I'm thinking, what was the idea behind it. So that's how you can put several texts inside. Uh, one, maybe you, maybe you can use the animated outlines or the animated shapes. Both are, works the same way, okay? Now let's talk about effects, okay? But before we talk about effects, let's talk about the, the type of titles that I, I like it a lot, that, that is the continuous animation, and they are new to this update. So let's see how you can use them. If you have any question, leave in the chat box. If you are liking this training, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel all right let's grow lena effects channel <laughs> it's going to be great 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 actually my goal for 2021 uh, 2020 yeah 21 is to have a, a hundred thousand subscribers it's a challenging goal but i i like the idea I have to bring a lot of value to you. So that's it. Let's go. Let's go open the other project. Come here to the browser. Continuous animation. Shift Z. And I'll, I'll show how you can combine these with the other effects. With the effects. Let me see. Yeah, this one. I'll show how you can create this kind of effect. Fast, easy, powerful. Okay, let's add a gap, option W, and cut, B, cut, because I want to put it here. And then I need a background, a solid, just a solid, go to the Titles tab, Text Presets, and then I can come here and I can select one animation, no problem. Click and drag, put here, or just put the playhead and press W like that. And then I want a, a not white or bright, something like that. Good. Good. And then I can, let me see. And then I can go to the continuous, continuous category, slow, what is it, here, let me find one, yeah, this one I like it, click and drag, and keep in mind that these titles don't have the in and out animation. They don't have it. 
and the the animation speed to change it you need to make it longer or make it shorter or oh, it stopped or make it shorter okay you don't have the control here in the in the animation controls i like this let's rename it fast make it bigger maybe change the co the font no I'll, I'll not waste time trying to change yeah let me change fast good fast and then uh, uh, hold down the option key click and drag now you need to time correctly zoom let me close the fx tab command 5 select one of the titles the the top one and then use the dot key or comma key to move one frame at a time so move you can disable the snap by clicking here or pressing N okay and then I can move the playhead here let me see I'm, I'm watching the back title and then now I can change the the next title move right arrow or down arrow and then dot or comma to move the title one frame at a time but now just let's just play yeah i like it one frame before yeah i like it like that and then i can count here press n to enable the snap one two two frames so put here a line and put comma comma two times and put here and now i can rename them i can rename rename to easy fast and powerful like that fast easy powerful boom and then now i can change colors let's change colors to make it more interesting because i'm going to add glow so with color the glow is is it's beautiful better blue let's see click click option click to change the position and select let's put this yeah this one is good so let's preview good now to add the, the effects let's select everything right click new compound clip enter and then let's play with the effects go to press command 5 and then here you can use the extrude look the extrude very simple just look the distance the angle and then just play with it i'm sure you are going to like this effect okay now in the tutorial i'm going to show everything about it look the flicker is very cool right bracket right bracket and then you can put the amount look frequency noiseness nice i love it good now let's add glow glow good before no this color is not good let's change it go inside uh, let's put something more brighter like like that good go back click here look now the glow is beautiful yeah love it good so the glow you can put here where you can see the glow yeah now i can see very good tint i can give a tint exposure i can make it stronger glint i can 
strikes and glow softness but i don't want i like the way it is now glow the size click here you can go even further i like the i like this i like it okay now a little bit of prism i don't know if that's the right pronunciation but yeah look it's a great simple effect but makes looks make the title looks look even better shake let's add shake click and drag forward slash and then you can come here amount add more amount to to move more less i don't i want less and i want add and subtract because it will add and subtract the number so you can move up and down to make it more more subtle or more smooth the movement Put the noiseness and frequency lower. Look, less noiseness, noiseness and less frequency. Or if you want crazy movement, make the noise, noiseness very higher, higher. And then you can change the pattern of the movement by cl clicking here. I want less and less frequency and less movement yeah i like it okay here with a, a song it is it's going to be very powerful in your video the result okay and that's it i believe about this effect i like it very simple you can put one text oh look and here i could I could change the background. I could, yeah, let's do that. I could duplicate by holding down the option key, click and drag, and change the color to something different, like that. Look. And then you change the color, and then I could duplicate again to, oh, look, I need to move this. Let me see where the animation is starts and then it comes the other text and then the other one. Yeah, I believe it's here. Let's change the color. Let's see. Good. Something like that. It's just experiment and you'll find uh, different effects, different results. It's just too flexible, okay? Now let's see the replicator very quickly. Replicator, I have this text and I want to use the replicator effect. Just create a compound clip and then you can come here to the replicator, click and drag. And then you can see the original source or no, and you can change the width, the height, the columns, how many of them you want. Click and drag here like that. Let's see. Look, nice. And then you can, for example, duplicate option G, make a new reference clip and then you can go inside or no command z command z command shift g g to remove the compound and then here i just want to see the original clip like that and then i could come here add a glow and change the opacity of everything like that and add blur look i don't f oh my god i don't have a blur another idea for update blur effect okay now i could add a the underwater the underwater and then make select one of the presets and disable this 
look the underwater and change the opacity put that as zero or five or two and then find the blur effect the focus can be the focus let's see look is just limitless what you can do so that's the replicator let's see the text mask very quickly option w and then let me duplicate the background from this one command option down arrow to put on the primary storyline and then I'm going to use any text here. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, this one. Create a compound clip, enter, click and drag. And then you can enable the guide and then set the mask size like that. And you can, you can move the mask. You can move both. You can move here. Okay, you can add feather. Let's see. Now let me remove the guides because it ju it's just a guide. Look, the mask cuts. Don't you don't see outside the mask? This is very good. Okay, this is better when you use with text that are moving, moving. Okay, and this one is very simple. The zoom. You can zoom in, right bracket, you can zoom in, or you can zoom out, simple, or you can move, combine with the move tool to move to the right or to the left or up or down. You can use both. Okay. You can zoom in, disable one of them if you want, reset the parameters, let's see, move to the right, move to the left, because maybe you want the text to move all the time, be moving, be moving, because you could do, what you could do is, it enters and then it's moving. And then other text comes in, you know, something like that. <laughs> Look, the mask, very nice. Not the mask, it's because I changed the position. Yeah, I think I, I covered everything. The blur is just, uh, let me show you the version with and without blur the blur is a nice effect to use sometimes sometimes not this is without blur this is no both is are without let me add a compound clip because if i add a blur to the title i'll affect the video below as well the 180 degrees is shorter and the 36 degrees is longer, the effect, the, the copies. Look, look the difference. Look how many copies. Okay. I'm rendering. Now let's preview. Right bracket, right uh, forward slash look without and with okay that's the effect of blur and very quickly how you can use the backgrounds it's amazing how, what you can do with the backgrounds let's add randomly so you can see how quickly how fast you can create something very nice I just added I just added some backgrounds, just click and drag, put one on top of the other one. Oh, oh, sorry. Hold down the 
let me put a gap option w and do this like that i'm just putting several different backgrounds keep in mind for example this animation let me change to color this animation you can come here uh, this one doesn't have only the zoom or the in and out you can change let me see this one you can change the colors <clears throat> how many colors just one or more this one I just want I want one color for all of them uh, good okay now you can take any text come here put the text between the backgrounds move here use the dot to move some frames or shift dot or shift comma to move 10 frames at a time now i can put another text here shift dot i need to put below the other background nice put another one look how randomly i'm working and you'll see the result of this not so thoughtful editing <laughs> not so uh i didn't think too much so you can see how simple it is to create beautiful animation yeah i think it's enough it's enough so you can see what i mean you just have fun with this plugin have fun with it and you'll find so many ideas to explore so many results is possible with this plugin it's just awesome do you guys have any question your picture and audio is out of sync yeah oh yes i can see that i th i think i'm sorry how did you do the salmon one yeah i need to take a look at it and i'll i'll add as a idea salmon tutorial in the 11 second tutorial okay i'll add this as a idea for me to create a tutorial and put inside the the training for this plugin later sorry later you can see in the site in the website at lanafx.com and if you don't know yet you can buy this plugin text live use the coupon code text live to get 20 20 off 20 dollars off in so it's only 49 and the plugin is getting better and better and the updates are free this is awesome Updates free is great, right? <laughs> it's awesome. So let's preview the what we created without thinking too much. Let me put at full full screen, not full screen, yeah, forward slash full screen mode. It's not playing all the frames. So that's it, that's how you can use the text presets plugin and last thing is the, let me show you the adjustment layer, I think you guys know what it is but for the ones that don't, the adjustment layer is very nice because you can put a adjustment layer on top of all your clips and then maybe you want to make uh, add more contrast command six go to the color board exposure and then you can change 
the contrast of all the videos, all the elements below your V to enable and disable because maybe you won't not put a color correction but you won't add a, a, a touch a, a, a nice touch of a noise just a noise to your composition look and then you add a noise because you are working with shapes and a lot of shapes a lot of text and then you can use film grain amount monochromatic and the blend mode to screen and then you can set the amount just a nice touch like that and maybe you want to do something else you can do using the adjustment layer the guides is a tool to help you align the text if you need to go to the titles tab and here you can see rule of thirds center you can enable disable you can safe zones you can enable change color disable enable and change color of every guide all right So that's basically it guys, I, I think I can explore more, give you some more tips. Uh, I, um, you can ask me what you want to create, send me some examples, send me some ideas what you want to create and maybe I can create a tutorial showing you how to create this effect or something that you want. Like Francis did here, he said how did you create the salmon effect? So I'll create a tutorial and put inside this product for you. Okay. SFXD, what's the it's live text live. Okay. I'll put in the description of this video, the coupon code. So enjoy this coupon code because it's available until June 8. Uh, today is June 3rd, 3rd, thir 3rd. Um, so this plugin is just amazing. Uh, I I have so many amazing. Just um, I'm thrilled to read the the feedback from our customers. Look at that. Let me show you. Really happy. Exactly what I what was advertised. Really easy to install and use. 15 reviews. If you bought the plugin, please leave a review. This will help us, help us a lot, a lot. You don't, you have no idea. If you like this plugin, please leave a review. If you didn't like, leave a review as well. Tell us how can we make it better. This is also great for us. Again, let's see. Really top-notch text effects, really useful effects, a lot of variety. I'm super impressed. Looking forward to volume two. Great news. No volume two. It's just volume one. This is going to be the best, is now the best plugin with text, with this purpose in mind, is the best one. And we are not going to create version two. You don't, you don't need to pay anything else, my friend. Uh, this is Jonathan. Jonathan, he said, I'm looking for version two. No, my friend, I'm going to do some updates and for free. Look, LenFX are time savers. The craft talented team are the best team. Tech sales is the best with real time response. They develop plugins. You can read them, okay? Thank you again, Leno. Wow, Besant, I'm thrilled with your review. Ah, no, no, this is, I responding to him everything loved it I already use it so many great feedback very nice and the ones that sometimes people are not so satisfied we we is good because we can make the plugin better and we need this we need your real feedback what do you think about the plugin with um, real <laughs> feedback it is fast beautiful in particular it seems to be able to shorten the time a lot and many beginners can turn into experts 
why are the tax presets low in a scheme over in the yeah the, when this happens you can happen you can contact us maybe it's your machine maybe it's something it's happening it can be a lot of things and we can take a look at it and i love this plugin it's very versatile so many great feedback okay um let me see because we are getting to the end of this live training thank you for all your great plugins mc clay clay oh my friend thank you thanks for being here you are a great LanFX customer from uh years back and then i i really appreciate uh we talked about a lot via email i remember you <laughs> thanks for everything james hi my friend hi great tutorial as always thank you thank you mike you're welcome i love your classes good to know great to know because I, i'm more motivated to keep it going to keep doing this i bought it let, last week is a great plugin too bad i got only 20 off now it's 20 dollars off yeah my friend but this this happens sometimes we buy something and then it's in prom on promotion but i hope that the investment you've made made the difference in your work in your life and you make made more money than you spend uh, invested invested on us hi Leno, the link of the premium plugins your description below goes to the free plugins please fix okay i'll put the right link in the description great tutorial keep it up Leno. Thanks, Francis. Just picked it up. Thank you for all your work. You're welcome, my friend. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate your time. And I hope you learned something new today to make your work even better and making more money and be more successful. Thank you. And till next time, that's it. <laughs> Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you. Have a great day, great night, everything great, awesome. <laughs>